The formula to beat the Bulls isn't difficult. Though they've added an excellent supporting cast to the NBA's featured aerial artist, one thing remains certain. When Michael Jordan's held in check, the Bulls are beatable. Grounding air Jordan doesn't happen often. It did two weeks ago, though, at the Palace when a swarming Pistons defense limited him to 16 points. Jordan soared freely in early November against the champs for a Bulls victory. Tonight, he'll try to rise to the occasion again. Live from Chicago, it's the Pistons and the Bulls. Chicago with a basketball. Up 12-10, Jordan gets it inside. He's doubled behind a foul line of Cartwright. Shot blocked by Rodman and Lampier. Looking way up, here's a lob to Worm, and Paxson knocks it away enough that Dennis has to save it. Up it goes to Jordan. He'll pull up and gun foul line to go. The first basket for Michael. With a basketball outside his grand, he'll hand to Jordan screen for him. Dumars fights through it. Jordan spins to the lane. Dumars and Lambeer collapse, and Billy gets the foul. They collapsed on Michael, and Lamb will pick up his second foul. Chicago leads it 26-24. Pippen will look to drive on Edwards. Addition inside to Michael Jordan for the jam. Jordan with six, Chicago by four, 28-24, a minute and 10 to play first quarter. You know, the last game, last Tuesday night, uh, George, with these two teams, Chicago tried to get the ball inside unsuccessfully to Jordan, and they haven't had great success inside tonight either. They try and jump it up outside, he does, and he drills it. Well, they gave him a double pick and freed him, but uh, Joe Dumars has done a great job defensively inside against Michael. B.J. Armstrong from Brother Rice High School in Birmingham and the University of Iowa dishes to King and gets it back. B.J. with a bounce foul line to Jordan. He'll turn and fire and fill it. 32-29. Well, we knew that this would get physical. The lob to Bedford and not good enough. Bedford didn't hold it. Not a perfect pass. Chicago, Jordan, yes, he got it from the lane. Paxson back for Chicago with Jordan, Cartwright, Grant, and Stacy King. Michael sees an avenue, and he flies a jam. That'll get the crowd into it even more, but the Pistons still lead by six. Purdue in the final minute of the half, dishes to Grant. Now to Jordan, trying for three. It's through. 53-49. Exactly what the Pistons didn't need to have happen. Cartwright wants it topside, gives to Paxson on the wing against Isaiah. The bounce to Jordan. Michael against Dumars. Turns baseline, here's the fadeaway. It falls. Nothing you can do about that. George, I don't know what you can do. Uh, uh, he, uh, Jordan was double teamed and turned around and shot about a 12-foot fadeaway jump shot. You, there's no defense for that. 70 66 still the Pistons by four Jimmy Edwards two times went in the lane for Rodman Lily with a step in front steal to Jordan racing Sally for the hole and a foul they both hit the floor it's good foul on John's part uh, Michael Jordan went down but he's not hurt but it was a smart foul on John Sally's part he had no intention of hurting but, but there was strong contact Jordan way out on the court against Vinny. Starts the drive. Jordan spins and reverses and hit it back up over his head off the window. What a shot. 91-83. Jordan with 27 on an icy cold night for him. Michael Jordan, the last trip for Chicago, made a brilliant basket. Isaiah wants Pippen. Pippen's got five. Isaiah takes him to the lane. Lost it. Got it back. Goes baseline. Rainbows. It goes! That was a spectacular shot. It's 95-85. Jordan spinning inside and scooping and scoring for Chicago. And VJ fouled him. A great move by Jordan. But you know Isaiah's made four straight hoops in a row. Michael somehow got away, and they called Vinny for a grab on the way. 
Bulls ball. Pippen on the side low. 350 left. Pippen dotted line. Bounces to George. They drive and dunk. Now it's 95 90. Three and 40 left. Chuck Daly up to call the play. We'll just see, George, if uh, the Bulls continue to press. I'm sure they will. They've had some success, and I'm sure they'll continue to press. 105-95. 30 seconds left in Chicago. Hodges in the basketball game. Three-point shooter. Jordan catches it topside. Forces a triple. No, it's off the heel to Bill Lambeer. Way up it goes to Dumars. He'll lay it up and lay it in. Joe deserves a bunny. As hard as he's worked tonight, 